This is how to make bread at home from scratch. Basic recipe, quick and simple. You can take it from here and vary it as ever you want. The most important thing is getting the yeast started. In here in this picture you'll see the yeast that was put into warm water. This is water that's warm enough to touch straight from the faucet. The yeast was put into the warm water with honey into a cup size cup and stirred thoroughly and allowed to sit. After putting the yeast in, the water and honey and letting it start to boil, I started the next step of the process of adding the wet ingredients together. Once I've added the wet ingredients, I've added the dry ingredients. In this case, I had some rye flour and, and regular flour and I used a uh, half a cup of yogurt to keep the flavor that I like because I didn't have any milk at the time so I mixed in a little yogurt. Once I've mixed all that together in what I consider to be a batter I let it sit again until the batter begins to, to bubble or rise. And I don't need to let it rise very long but as you can see here, I stirred in more flour and I probably stirred in like three cups of flours and then floured the surface that I was going to knead the dough on. As I worked the uh, surface out, the flour out of the bowl into that floured surface, you can see here the, the dough actually isn't sticking to the sides of the bowl. So I took the flour, the floured surface and the, the dough and then started kneading it here. Around and around and around I went until the consistency of the dough is spongy and smooth and elastic. And I've added enough flour in the process as I've done this to thicken up or make the, the dough stiff enough. Then simply, after letting it rise one time, I'm going to go ahead and divide it out. This process has probably taken... Oh, 45 minutes at this point, and I'm dividing the dough up into the loaves that I'll actually put into the loaves pans into equal parts. This will allow the, the bread to rise in the loaf pans covered. In my house, it's a little bit cold at this time of year, so I have the, the stove already heated up to 40 to 350, and I'm going to set the bread pans on top of the stove covered to heat it up to, to warm them for the next, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes while it begins to rise. Here you can see me putting the, the cover, actually the clean towel over the top of them. And then my wife and I come back and peek at them every so often to see how they're doing and they're starting to fill up the bread pans and it's always smells good and now I've gotten a little bit later in the evening and peeking again. The, the rising is still there and now here's the dough it's basically doubled in size and it looks nice and I'll go ahead and stick it in the oven and bake it for 35 minutes for 350 and it could go up to 45 minutes and depending on your your oven but here it is finished bread as fresh and warm and good as it could be thank you for watching this was made by hand with all natural ingredients by me